Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, myself Vignesh Anand. In this video we are going to see about the circuit diagrams of your isolator which means the connections and the control supply diagram of your isolators. So before going that we are going to go through the technical specifications of the isolators. For selecting a isolator we need a certain specific uh, specifications as per our requirements. So these are these are the tablations which given by the IECs and followed by all the substations for selecting the corresponding isolators for your substation. Just you can pause the video and go through it because the tablations are given as per your 33 kV, 132 kV, 220 kV, and 400 kV substations lines so the specification may vary according to your level of voltage which we and also the current which is uh, which is the load given in the line corresponding line and uh, the clearance of your uh, line from the ground level so these major factors will be changed and also the type of isolator where we are going to use is it a single break or a double break or a pantography type of uh, isolators so in before video i have explained about these uh, types of isolators you can refer those videos also now you can pause the video and uh, just go through the tablations It's coming up to the circuit diagrams of your isolator. For that, uh, we are going go through these uh, descriptions, which means uh, in the diagram we have uh, short names of these uh, descriptions as like a key interlock switches we have mentioned as K and C, remote local switches, selector switch is S2, power socket PS, motor M, manual push button PV3, then pole plus neutral mcb s3 which means you are uh, ac supply mcbs then overload relay olr thermostat th open push button pb2 close push button pb1 then lamp switch dls and solenoid coil sc then power socket pss heaters hs then for a motor supply s1 then for a DC supply which means your control supply CS then cubicle heaters CH then cubicle lamp holders L then close and open contactors as a CC and OC coils just uh, these are all the short names which we are going to use in the diagram so coming up to the first diagram this is your uh, supply for the motor uh, here the motor supply coil which means the contactors of your uh, motor is connected with the OC and CC coil which means your open coil and the close coil contacts so according to the contacts uh, latching the motor will get supply uh, given or uh, supply cut off and also the motor annunciation trip trip motor annunciation trip has been taken from the OLR which means your overload relay normally this overload relay will be in a satisfied manner which means uh, the NC contacts will be taken for a uh, giving uh, whenever the supply is uh, given or a, the motor is in healthy condition NC contact is given for the uh, circuits and uh, whenever the OLR get operated which means your overload relay get operated NO contacts is uh, taken for the trips so that the OLR get activated means automatically the NC will breaks and uh, changes into NO contact and NO contact will make and uh, changes into NC contact and automatically your trip get annunciated to your SCADA SMI portion or your BCU here the supply uh, in the sense uh, we have taken uh, DC as a supply 
as it has here we are using dc motors if we are using a single phase motor means single phase ac can be given or a three phase motor means three phase ac supply can be given according to your connections next coming up to the portion of ac supply operating mechanism axillaries which means axillary in the sense uh, operating mechanism box uh, heater supplies lamps sub, uh, lamp supplies and uh, power socket supplies so in here we have taken a single phase supply for all these things here the thermostat uh, thermostat in the sense that uh, according to the temperature the thermostat will contact if we set uh, temperature as a below 20 degree means uh, if the temperature got uh, reduced to uh, 20 degree automatically your thermostat starts conducting and the heater supply will get turned on for all of these uh, commonly we have taken a single phase supply from the switch s3 so uh, automatically the hs heater switch it will be in closed condition and dls will be in a closed condition and uh, PSS power supply sockets also been in a closer condition. So whenever a lamp need to be uh, turned on, this DLS will be closed. Then a PSS power supply sockets uh, that switch get turned on when a power supply is needed. So this is the overall of your operating mechanism auxiliary supply uh, circuits. Then coming up to the main control supply DC circuits. So in here the control supply DC supply is taken and the CES control supply switch MCB should get turned on for uh, giving the DC supply to your control circuits. Then uh, KMC in the sense the fuse uh, interlocks, uh, interlocks mechanical interlocks then OLR relay contacts. Uh, which is in series with the positive so uh, it should get satisfied and then only further it will move to your circuit then coming up to the portion of your uh, pb4 push button which is normally a future interlock or a breaker interlocks that uh, portion is been uh, off right now that's why i mentioned as off then uh, coming up to the portion local remote uh, switch s2 in here uh, first condition as a local means if the selector switch is selected as local means automatically it will enter into your circuit the negative will be up to your uh, local end which means uh, if the close coil get uh, initiated means closing need to be done means the negative will be up to your uh, local end uh, portion of top and the positive supply uh, we will initiate by closing the close uh, push button same wise for opening also same condition so in here the local in the sense automatically the uh, we are going to close the isolator uh, for example i am saying uh, we are going to close the isolation means automatically the closing coil should get energized for that we need a status of your open coil which means uh, the open coil is not yet energized so that uh, the close coil negative will be passes up to the closing coil and the positive pulse which we are going uh, giving by the push button pb1 so once it get closed uh, still the dc supply which means the positive supply uh, will goes to your uh, coil closing coil so it should get cut off for that cut off thing you are using the axillary contacts ls1 here the ls1 in the sense we are taking a status of the isolator and keeping it as a series with the close coil so once the status get uh, initiated which means the status get changed automatically the voltage dc voltage get cut off and your closing coil which is energized earlier it will be de-energized after fully closed it got de-energized so same as like a closing coil now opening of the isolator need to be done for that opening coil OC should get energized for that we need to check 
uh, first the negative supply which is uh, need to be satisfied by the closing coil status and the LC2 status and then it will goes to your open coil contacts once the open coil contacts get energized means which means get ready means automatically we can initiate a positive through the push button 2 which means the push button 2 positive uh, can be done by that push button so once the isolator got opened automatically the LC2 will breaks and uh, it will de-energize your uh, opening coil so if the isolator is taken in a remote means automatically the selector switch before uh, the from the selector switch we need to push the push button and then only we can close by locally so now we are directly giving the close and uh, open command from the remote end which means our HMI SCADA end or from the BCU so in here uh, if we selected as a remote means automatically your before portion of your uh, isolator which means before the selector switch has to get cut off so the signal will be comes from directly which means the command will be directly comes from your HMI or a BCU SCADA end so in here the the common positive is uh, will be the command will be given by the control panel so the negative uh, which is uh, showing the that the circuits are ready for close operation or open operation is uh, for closing rpb1 and for open rpb2 if we need to close the isolator means the rpb1 uh, contacts will be ready which means it will, it will satisfy after the push button only because the connected area is after that push button only so the after that push button in the sense the cc coils contacts and the lc ls1 ls2 and oc coil contacts ls1 ls2 these things will be comes in your circuit remaining portions will be neglected so now you can have a doubt that how the interlocks satisfied or if any manual interlock has been taken or overload relay is operated in the sense what we uh, how the circuits will operate like that you can have a doubt for this only uh, if the motor get failed any overload get operated means for that we have a separate alarm and that alarm will be goes to your Mac uh, which means your uh, BCU and further it will gives us an event or alarm for your HMI SCADA so now we are directly going to give the command to your CC contacts or uh, OC contact coils for the remote operation so these two operation will come to the end here next the third one is your manual operation manual operation in the sense the solenoid coil will get energized and manually we will operate so manual in the sense we need to fix a handle for that for fixing the handle we need to first energize this solenoid coil and we need to push the push button manual push button and then only the handle will be fixed in your uh, rotating shafts then only you can able to operate the isolators manually so these are all the basics of your control supply diagram of your isolators hope you all understand i think so next uh, we will have another overview concepts of your civil structure diagrams and connection diagrams of your isolators see you next video have a nice day and three one come